Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Dovex and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the screensaver and edit the screensaver on your own so I mean how to change this screensaver and customize on your own okay so with that being said let's get started so here how do we gonna change the wait wait a minute how are we gonna wait? Uh, how are we gonna customize the screensaver on Linux Mint operating system? So let's open the screensaver. For so for that, just go to the start menu out here and search for screensaver. Uh, I think you must get uh, screensaver. Um, it must be here. Yeah, here it is. The log settings. It is of log settings. Okay, so let's open it. Mm, let Let's wait until it gets loaded. So here it is. The screen saver. So this is it. The settings over here. You can tweak these settings. Okay. So this is the screen server setting settings. So delay before this first option what it means delay before starting the screen saver. What does that mean? Well this means that uh as you can see here this option defines the amount of time to wait before the starting the screen saver when the computer is not being used. That means it will um stop after these this five minutes later uh, if I click one minute later then it will start after one uh, the screensaver will start one minute after one minute is over let's see if one minute is over or not let's examine this it, will it work or not okay let's wait until it the screensaver works. So it's now 41, 42, 45, 46. Again, let's wait until it the screensaver starts working. Mm, I think it must work. It's not really working. <laughs> it must work. No, not at all. It's not working. I'm sorry for waiting you or me keeping you waiting. Uh, let's choose this one. Four or six. Okay. No, nothing is happening. Okay, uh, let's give it five minutes. Okay, now here is the lock settings. Okay, well, but before that, before going to lock settings, I just want to tell you that this delay before starting this screensaver, this is the option to uh, to wait in the waiting time of the computer for you, which will be used for screensaver and after this five minutes that screensaver will start remember that and 
Next comes the lock settings. The lock. The first option is to lock the computer when put to sleep. Okay, you can uh, turn it off or on. I'm turning it off because I don't want the screensaver to be locked. Because you know, it's just uh, uh, one minute, uh, five minutes inactivity is nothing. So that is why it needs. It uh, we don't need to log it, so that is why I'm turning it off. So uh, you can turn it off or on the lock. Or the when the uh, when the computer goes to sleep, or you can say when the screensaver turns uh, gets uh, turns on or comes to play. You can choose for um, log and do whatever you like. So this is the way of uh, creating a lock when the screensaver is working. After the screensaver is done, you can choose this one. Okay, let's move on to the second option, is that lock the computer after the screensaver starts. Okay, you can choose this one, lock immediately, or after 15 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna say after one minute. You can choose this one, okay, uh, to log the computer after the screensaver starts. Okay, let's move on to the customize. So here is the option for the uh, screensaver, okay, to show every uh, show. I mean. What will it be? Uh, to show clock, date and time, away message, and general all this. Okay, to show these and also allow shortcuts, media controls, etc. So starting with date and time. Uh, to show the clock, you can turn it off or on, and even you can use the date and time. Use custom date and time. You can customize this for hour, for minutes and date format A, B, year, which means year, and this one is the month, and this is the year, I think. Okay, you can choose if you want. Okay, you can choose this one if you want, but I'm not going to choose this one. Okay, Okay, even this one is the important oh okay now this is the time font which uh, you can change the fonts out here uh, let's see um, uh, will it work or not Uh, the time font. Let's lock the screen and see what happens. Okay. You be seeing. Okay. No. Okay. Is the screen lock after uh, before it gets locked. I see. Here it is. The font has changed. Okay. Okay. Let's reopen it. Okay, I'm keeping it this way. Uh, but before locking the screen, I had an option for displaying the message. That uh, this is the customizable option and uh, for the lock screen. Okay, you can customize that, and I'll be making another video for that uh, for the lock screen. Okay, which means. You can even customize the lock screen and edit those things, okay? So let's move on to the topic now. You can even choose the font for uh, date, okay? I'm keeping it as Ubuntu regular. You can do this one, you can do this, and also, if you want to increase the font size, you can 
just tweak out over here or you can even increase this one okay this is it and if you want to okay so this is it uh, for date and time format okay now let's move on to the away message okay uh, remember when I just uh, I was locking the computer okay I will show you this how uh, away message is displayed on the computer screen in Linux Mint operating system okay remember this um, okay what I'm gonna say uh, okay it's now displaying that I will show you how it is displayed okay wait a minute Okay, let's see. Don't learn to hack and hack to learn. As you can see here. Okay, let's see. 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 Let's show this message when the lock screen is locked you can uh, display a message when the screen is locked okay this one is the one uh, for displaying message when the screen is locked and you can use uh, custom message when before locking the screen okay as you can see here, this option allows you to type a message each time when you lock the screen from the menu. You can turn it off or on. And you can use the font. You can Even here you can use the font, any font you like. But I'm keeping it as it is, as Ubuntu regular. Okay, I'm going to increase the font size. Okay, that's it. And for general there are shortcuts you can allow allow keyboard shortcuts you can al uh, allow mm, media player controls and you can show album arts you can show about the panel all these stuff you can you just need to tweak all these and see what it goes for so this is it for today i hope you learn something from me and i really hope that in the next video you will learn much about it okay so I hope you really learn and always please don't forget to ask anything on my channel and if you have any doubts on this video or if you have any questions on this video please ask in the comments section below so thank you guys for watching bye